chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Verses 41 through 49. Luke chapter 2. Verses 41 through 49. Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 49. When you have found, when you have found that account, which is signified by saying, Amen. In the King James Version, we will find, beginning at verses 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. And they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought me? Would not it be that I must be about my father's business? Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes, yes. For our preachment this afternoon, I want to call your attention back to verse 45, which reads, And when they found him not, <laughs> They turn back. Amen. 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 I want to talk from this stuff. Don't leave home without him. If I may subtext this, if I may subtext it, permit me to subtext it, back it up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, back it up, back it up, back it up. Turn to your other neighbor and say, neighbor, whatever you do, hey, don't leave home without him. My sisters and brothers, it amazes me how when somebody loses a cell phone, they will tear their house up. And sure, they'll tell everybody in the house, call my phone, call my phone. They listen and looking and looking and listening. And, uh, and they'll tear their car, they'll tear their home up because of that cell phone that they've left somewhere. Or, I'm coming down the street, I'm sorry. I just, or, or that Powerball that you lost. That scratch off. Come on, don't look at me crazy. Amen. You will tear that house up and tear dresses and drawers and all kinds of stuff looking for that scratch off. Amen. But it amazes me how people are actually without Christ and won't do nothing about it. This, this, this message is very powerful and I, I shall not be long today because I realize that, that some of y'all teams might make it in. I'm not sure. My team is out so I got all day to preach. Amen. So I just need to share with you for just a little while. Give me, give me about 10 
more minutes and I'll try to get out of your way. But let me share this with you. That, that the record says that now Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem every year to keep the feast of the Passover going to come through. He's 12 years old at the time of the text. They went up to Jerusalem after the custom. They went there to worship. Somebody get this when you can. They went there to worship. Tap your neighbor and say they went there to keep the feast of the Passover, which meant they went to worship. I do have a question for you today. Did you come to worship? Did you, did you come? I don't care what's on your heart, on your mind. I, I don't know about you, but I've come to worship. I didn't come to fight. I didn't come to be seen. I didn't come to see nobody. I came to worship because God has been good to me. I, I, I'm telling you, religion is personal. And so you've got to get in your mind that you come to worship. Don't worry about what's in the oven. Don't worry about what's not in the oven. Oven. Don't worry about the bills due tomorrow. Don't worry about the bills due Friday. Don't worry about how much is going to come out of your chances. You come to worship today because God has been that good to you. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's good like that. And I've got to worship him. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Verse 43 says, and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, I'm going somewhere with this, the child of Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. But the record says, Deacon Kirkland, that Joseph and his mother knew it not. Now, uh, here's the turning and pivotal point of the text. The record says, verse 44, they supposed that he had been somewhere in the company of loved ones. Can I give you the first point of the morning? Don't assume that the Lord is always in the crowd. Turn to somebody and say, he's not always in the crowd. He's not always. Please don't assume that just because there's a crowd that the presence of the Lord is there. I know some crowded churches today, but the Lord is not there. I know some crowded homes today, but God is not there. I know some crowded choir stands, but God is not there. I know some crowded deacon board seats, but God is not there. I know where some crowded pulpits are, but God is not necessarily there. Contacting the law. A whole day. I, I need to 
mess with this just a little bit. A whole day not talking to him. A whole day not hearing from him. Good God Almighty. Have you ever gone a whole day without hearing him? Have you ever gone a whole day without holding him? Have you ever gone a whole day without talking to him? Have you ever gone a whole day without hearing from him? Have you ever gone a whole day without reading about him? Have you ever gone a whole day without praying to him? Have you ever gone a whole And didn't have him in the company. But verse 44 says something that I, I won't be long with you. It says that when they found him not, here's what they did. The record says they turned back. Can I put a nickel in the meter and park there just for a moment? Uh, watch this. Sometimes it is necessary to turn around. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. It ain't deep, but you can depend on it. It ain't heavy, but it's helpful this morning. Talk to your neighbor and say, sometimes turning back might be necessary. I know we always talk about pressing forward. I know we always talk about moving forward. I know we always talk about going forward. But every now and then it might be helpful to turn back.